Good morning. Welcome to Holy Name Cathedral. As our parish community comes together to worship, we extend a special welcome to those who are visiting us today and to those who are new to the parish. A reminder, please practice social distancing during the Mass. Just prior to the distribution of Holy Communion, the presider will indicate how to approach and receive the Eucharist. At this time, please be sure to turn off or silence all cell phones and mobile devices. Thank you. The celebrant of this Mass is Father Greg Zakowitz. Please rise. Good morning. Today we celebrate the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, gathers God's family. We also welcome those who are praying with us and watching live stream. So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. God is loving, compassionate, and always forgiving. We are sinners who take a moment of silence and ask forgiveness and the Lord's mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And together, let us pray. Loving God, Father of mercies, his only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, exalting in the holiness of her children, always through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Our response, glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves, the gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, and of Zion they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, my home is within you. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother, his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple, their whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. After this, where that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. He put a sponge soaked in wine on a spring of hyssop and put it into his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over his spirit. Now since it was a preparation day, in order that the bodies may not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one. The Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. The soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other and was crucified with Jesus. When they'd come to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs, but one of the soldiers thrust a lance into his side and immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. It was back in three years ago that Pope Francis said the day after Pentecost, the Monday, is dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Some years ago, a little boy was with his mother. They were in a beautiful cathedral somewhere in Europe. He was looking at all the beautiful stained glass windows, all the saints, the Blessed Mother, the apostles. And then they're walking home, and the mother said to her little six-year-old boy, she said, what makes a saint and Mary and the disciples so special. The little boy said, all the saints, the apostles, blessed mother, the light of God shines through them. Because this boy's mind, seeing all the beautiful stained glass windows and the sun coming through illuminating the blessed mother, the saints, the apostles on the stained glass windows, in his mind, what is a saint? A saint is someone, the light of God shines through them. Now there's something for all of us. What does it mean to be a follower of the Lord? We need to let the light of God shine through us. What does that mean? About loving, caring, forgiving, taking care of the poor, forgiving oneself. So if people see not in our words, maybe more importantly by our actions, the light of God shines through us. That's being a follower of the Lord that's many ways being saintly. Now, are we all sinners? All of us are sinners, except the Blessed Mary, without sin. But as sinners of God, as sinners before God, we are forgiven. The beautiful line I've used so many times, no matter how many steps we take away from God, it only takes one step to get back to God. No matter how many steps we take away from God, it only takes one step to get back to God. And maybe as we live this day, you might be the only Bible someone reads this day by your life. May the light of God shine through us to be the eyes, the ears, the feet of the risen Lord proclaiming healing. May we love this world back into life. With confidence, faith, and joy, we bring the Lord our needs, our prayers, our very lives. For the church, may our Blessed Mother intercede for her and help her in her mission to make disciples of all nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, 
May the grace of God bring about forgiveness and reconciliation within our homes, communities, and our nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who grieve the death of a loved one, may the hope and promise of eternal life bring them consolation and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families in this faith community, may God strengthen and uphold them to be models of love and harmony for each other. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the recently deceased members of our families, may they enjoy the fruits of their service to the church in the heavenly presence of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of Bren Ortega Murphy, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> we add our own petition in the silence of our hearts. Loving God, we ask for in faith, we will obtain without fail, always through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through the goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, may become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, may become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. <clears throat> And stand and pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. The praise and glory of the name for our good and for the of all of Amen. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her be united more closely the work of redemption, always through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she was found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb, and giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the Church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love and took to herself, as sons and daughters, all those who by the death of Christ are born to heavenly life. As with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory as we then together pray. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and 
entered willingly into his passion. Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave the disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his life, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the power of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, to the bishops, clergy, religious brothers and sisters, and all who serve in your faith communities. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, through merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence, faith, and joy, as a family of God, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, you are always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait in blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with all of you. In a symbolic way, let us show the Lord's peace and joy with those around us. To those that are praying at home during this live stream, from all of us here at the cathedral, to all of you, God's blessings, peace, and the Lord's joy. Peace and God bless everybody. Lamb of God, you take with us into the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
As Donna mentioned, you'll come up row at a time, your hands will be sanitized, and then receive the body of Christ, and then move to your place back. For those that are not receiving communion, just come forward with your arms across your chest for a blessing. And thanks for your understanding and cooperation. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
And together, <clears throat> let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O oh Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary's motherly help, your church may teach all nations by proclaiming the gospel and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon all of us forever and ever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. We go in peace. Thank you, to God. God's blessing to all a blessed day. And uh, Sue and Cheryl will see you out row at a time. Thanks for cooperation. God bless and enjoy this beautiful weather today. For those who have been praying with us live stream, thank you for joining. Have a great day. <clears throat>